All right, so now that you have a folder, you want to think about how you can use it in a course. So uh, one of the things that's obvious is a folder has information in it. So you want to put information in the folder or something to entice the learner to think there's something in there and then create a reason to click and open it. So what I did is I actually built this folder here and then I built this one that looks like an open folder. What's nice is with both of these I use that PowerPoint color scheme. So if we go to the design um, I just use the same blue color scheme. So if I change the folder color here um, you'll see it changes here and the same thing uh, with this slide as well. So I can quickly modify uh, my, my folders. So uh, we've got our folders here. I can create custom folders. Now I'm going to add some content to it. So folders always have paper. So I created this paper in PowerPoint. And we're just going to rotate this. Let's rotate it this way here. And um, we'll have that stick up a little. And then what we're going to do is basically, we'll bring that out. We'll have this front part of the folder come forward. And so now we've got some paper in there. We could to put pictures in there or whatever we want to. The other thing is if you go into clip art and look, do a search for uh, paper clips or something like that, uh, you'll get these types of images. So I found this one. This one actually works. Uh, oops, let me bring that to the front. Um, this one works without really doing a lot of modification. So you could add some notes on here and, and a reason to clip or click on that. Here's one with the post-it notes. Uh, I gotta, let me bring this one to the front too. And then here's one with like torn paper. So you could use those and um, put those on the folders and that could have information that compels the learner to click on it. The other thing you could do is you can come in here. So I took that, uh, this first paper clip image and I ungrouped everything and just have the paper clip. And I did the same thing here. So this image here became uh, this paper clip. So I basically ungrouped it. So we just ungroup it here and um, just get rid of uh, items. So we can get rid of the orange box and all that. So now you can see I've got that paper clip. So I've got the paper clip. Um, let's go ahead and grab a picture here. So we'll take this, control C, and come over here and we can paste that on here. So now we could say, you know, we've got our paper clip and now I can put uh, anything on there. So let's say we want a photo uh, on there. So now that could be something with some information and you clip, uh, you click on it and then you can read the information about uh, Kathy the koala bear. You can do the same thing with this paper clip. So you can just take that, do this. You've got some paper here. Maybe you've got another piece of information or something. So you can make uh, a compelling case for clicking on here and, and getting more information. Then once you get there, you end up in here and now you could do the same thing. So you can take these, let's let's um, grab these things that we have here and we're going to copy those. We're going to come into the open paper clip or open notebook and we've got that and so we can uh, maybe we have our picture in here and um, with our paper clip and let's paste that and uh, oops so we've got our paper clip. We've got our photo. You know, Bring it out a little so it sticks out. Then you can have paper on here. What we could do is take this paper and now all of a sudden you've got a place to put content. So you've got a content area here and uh, maybe you make it, it stretches uh, past the notebook. So now here's where you would put your your content for the slide. And so you could see how you could easily dress up uh, the slide. So you go from, okay, click here, and then you're going to come here, and then in this area you're going to have content. And you can make it a little wider if you want to as well. Um, and, you know, add other other notes. Uh, let's let's clip that on here so it looks like it's clipped in here so you have little ragtag notes or whatever. The other thing you could do is so I sized it so you could have an envelope or a folder like this. You click on it, and then you come down here and then that opens up. So I actually just put some junk in there, but let's let's move this out of the way. So you can see I've got the folder open and folder closed. And uh, so you can play around with some ideas. But the main thing is you create the folders, think of ways you can use the folder. Uh, the way I did it right here is really easy. It's a great way to give some information, maybe put a pen or something on there and, uh, and it looks really nice.